We're gonna do a virgin relaxer today. Um, this client has grown out four years plus no products, anything, plus through COVID. She hasn't been back since 2019. And so before then we just had her hair in braids. So this is still the natural hair. So we sectioned in four and we're gonna start applying the relaxer right around the perimeters here. She's already been based quite well. So she's all nice. All right, so the perimeters come last. Don't please miss, pardon that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start her hair from up here around the perimeters like that. If you're thinking root, no. We're talking more likely right in through here, just to get their product, because it's all virgin hair. And then we'll do toward the ends, and then we'll do the roots last, because the last is, the roots are gonna straighten out first, but we don't wanna do that, because that'll make that smooth, wavy, nothing. So we don't want her walk around looking like a poodle with puffy, puffy hair. So we're just gonna start right up inside here, and we're just gonna work this right on down, just like this throughout her hair. And we're gonna do this all over the whole head. This is a new start for her. She's grown out. She wants a relaxer now from the natural girl. So everybody's entitled to what they like and what they want. So this is what she's chosen. So, and we're gonna go right down to here. And then we're gonna go through each section. And we're gonna pretty much Pull up inside there like that. And notice what I'm doing. I'm not going to the ends. I'm going up enough. Let me get that to stay put for a minute there. And then we're going to go up inside here, just like this. And I'm just going to bring it down just like that, right to that point. And so we're just going to make our next section. And we're going to continue doing the same idea. Not the scalp, nowhere on the scalp, but away from the scalp and almost to the ends, but not the ends, okay? So that's what we're doing. So keep watching. So we're just working on the next section and we're working our way around her head. So now we're on the last section now at this time. And I'm just doing the same as I told you before. Just take and put it not on the scalp, but away from the scalp, and then you're gonna just put it right on that hair. And that's all I'm doing, I'm putting right on the hair. And I'm taking it away from her face too, if you notice I'm going toward the back too. Okie doke. So what I'm doing now is I'm just gonna take her hair and just work it through with my hands. And if you notice the hair texture starting to smooth out in there, but you, you can bring it down with your hands. Sometimes, back in the old school, we used to use a comb. We're not using a comb today. And later on, we'll use the brush in the top to get there. But you notice what I'm doing? I'm not even touching those ends yet. I'm staying far away from them right now. But we're just trying to focus on getting these smooth here. Just gonna smooth this out. We're gonna just work this for a little while, each section. So let me bring the camera around that side. And then you can see what I'm doing here. Like right here, I'm just gonna work this hair just like this. Just keep working it. Yeah, and I'm just going from section to section. So I go from here to here, here to here. And that's it. And we're just gonna keep working our way around. And notice, I told you, if you notice the hair is starting to smooth out now. See there, it's starting to smooth out, the texture is changing. That's it. You just want to work it out. So if you're doing this for yourself at home, just do it just like that. Just if you can get it away from your scalp. I mean, no one's perfect. You may get it on your scalp a little bit in the beginning, but you're not focusing on the scalp. You're focusing on the existing hair. Okay? So you want to keep doing that. And then you start into your next section and you continue doing this around. And you know, just continue working yourself around you, around the whole head. You get to everything to that smooth texture. So now we're back to square, back to the beginning. And this is what we have. So she smoothed out pretty nicely. So now I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do next. Let's get that off, off her ear. 
I'll put this one up there too. It can get messy, so I say you keep a towel nearby. So now we're going to go into the root area and we're going to work on all this around the root and inside. So now we're going to smooth out those roots. So you do want to make a full relaxer and then you want to actually save some of it because you don't want to put it all on just that hair. Because when you can come in, their hair looks like it's not going to be enough relaxer for their hair, but it's going to be plenty. But once it gets wet and smoothed down, it actually changes and it thins out. So now we're going to go inside here again. See how nice that went through? Nice and easy. And we're just going to go back and we're going to work it on the root, on the root area. So this hair has been totally free of chemical for at least four years. And she's about ready for some changes, so. All right. Let me have you tilt just slightly, thank you. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're doing, guys. We're just putting in a relaxer on that, all that root area. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go from right to left, right to left. So same idea. And, uh, and we're going to just work it through. So I'm going to get this through. We'll be back to show you the rest. So as I mentioned, you're going to go from right to left. And now I'm on the final left side of it over here. And we're just doing right around the perimeters to go right inside there to do those root area. And we'll get this through, we'll work it through the root and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do that. And So what I'm doing now is I'm actually starting to smooth her down. So I'm just using the back of the, just using the paintbrush here. And I'm just gonna use that and my thumb to actually smooth her down. That's it. And you can get a really good job done with this if you just focus and put a little pressure. You know, no stretching, but just pressure. Like right there, when I pull this piece out, I just take this brush and I smooth it right down. I notice how that's starting to look there, smoothing right out in the, in the root area. And you can use the back of your, you can use your thumb to help get you there. It's all about your fingers in your, right now and getting this where you want it to be. Yep, and just, Use that brush and do your smoothing. Yep, and just continue on. So we're going to, this is where we're working on this next section. As I told you, just go in there and just go from left to right, um, from right to left, and then like I'm on the left side right now. And just use that brush like you're using it as if it's your fingers doing all that work like that. Do the brush the same way. Let the brush be your finger, be your guide to what you're doing there. Okay. Mm. Yeah, so now we'll work on the last section. Then we're gonna show you what we'll do to finish up her hair just before the rinse. And see how that's coming out now? It's smoothing out. Or you can just use your hand if you have to. 
Sometimes you, you have to give it a little pressure too because some of the hair is still wavy under there. And you want to be able to get every ounce of the hair underneath there. Okie dokie. All right. Okay, so now that we, we went through the whole head with the brush, I'm just working my fingers around and now we're just bringing everything to the ends. As I mentioned to you, everything will come down to the ends now. You can bring everything together and just work it because the ends are going to smooth out no matter what. And uh, you're going to, because they're already been sitting in there, they got a little product on it anyway for them to relax or so. You want to just bring everything together now and just smooth it out. Just bring everything together and it should look like that. Okay, so we worked that out to the end and now what we're going to do is we're going to go rinse her off. And we're going to work on the next thing we're going to do with her. All right. So this is how her relaxer turned out. She got smooth like we planned and as she wanted. So now we're going to put some color on her. Give her some color. And we're just going to use this uh, um, a deposit rinse that will actually help to get rid of some of that gray. So, and this is black. So uh, most people are familiar with the, the, the tints. So we're gonna put this on her, okay? So I ran some color through here and we're gonna let it sit for at least 25 minutes. And I just took a large shoe comb and I'm just combing it through to make sure it got through all the strands of hair. Okie dokie. This is what we're coming up with, stay tuned. We're just letting the color sit here and relax for a little while. Right, black. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs> uh, this is what I wanted to show you guys how it looks now after we put the color on it and her relaxer. So what we did with her, we blew her dry as you saw with the brush. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put some layering up inside here. Just on this part, I took and separated this, left the length here, and I'm only gonna take this part to her hair and put some uh, shorter pieces in here so she can have a little bit of volume, a little bit of fullness in through here. So, and she doesn't really care because see how bad those ends look right now? So I'm just gonna whack them off, but they need to go. And we're going to use what we just cut and use that as our guide. And we're cutting more. Actually, sorry about that. I'll just do this side. You can see what I just did here. Keeping that piece on the bottom. And we're just taking this all off. From being natural for the last four years, and she had um, just about everything. Braids, all kind of stuff. So her hair could use this and it does help to give her a little fullness up and through here kind of gives you some little shorter pieces so we're gonna continue on and finishing this up and then we'll let you guys see the finish so what i'm doing with her is just giving her some just bump her some um curls and a little body around about around her hair because it has gotten a lot thinner from being natural for a while. So we just wanna just bump it up a little bit and try to, you know, give it some fullness in there. 